Today, we're going to talk about how we create a client profitability report. If you look here where there's report section, there's standard reports, which we can see right here. They're already created by XPM. Now, to create a good client profitability report, I'm going to go to report builder. It'll take me to lots of options. So these are the reports that I've created. These are the custom reports. And then there is samples. The benefit of going through sample report before you create the report you want is you can start with something that you don't have to start from scratch. One of the really good reports here under samples under job is job profitability. Now you want to know the way it works is if I come here it'll tell me rows grouped by the first field so I will then come here and put the client on the top because then it will summarize by client. That's all I'm changing. Again once you get into it you can change things like you might not be using estimated cost but all I need is actual cost and billable amount and invoice amount. I love doing this from the start of the last month to the end of last month. That gives me clear understanding of the profitability. Then you can come here and change the name if you want. So I'll just call it client profitability report. Now, this is basically for completed jobs, right? So the jobs that are not completed will not form part of this report. Now, this is ideally for practices that close jobs each month. If you don't close jobs each month, you can do quarterly. You can still do monthly that, you know, the only thing would be you'll change criteria according to how your practice XPM is set up. Now, when you click on preview, it will then come and show me on the left hand side is the name of the client that I've got completed date, job number, name of the job, actual cost, billable amount, invoiced amount, and that's my profit. 